Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Elena. And we have a very special birthday for Elena. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday today. Oh, I thought we shared the same birthday. Oh, no. Happy birthday, though. Yeah. Well, anyways, kicking off the first day of Spirit Week is Music Monday. More after this with news. Yesterday, more than half of all voters in Switzerland's 26 cantons approved to allow same-sex couples to marry with the measure of passing with 6.1% of the vote. The vote is set to bring the nation into line with many others in Western Europe. Justice Minister Karen Keller Stutter said that the government would Im implement the measure swiftly and would take effect on July 1st. The marriage for all measure marks a crucial step in greater rights for gays and lesbians in Switzerland, which has authorized same-sex civil partnerships since 2007. At 8.26 p.m. September 6, a four-year-old was reported to have jumped out of a parked car and was hit by another car. It was reported that the car had run over her toe. Syracuse police are still investigating the scene. Upstate University Hospital employees have been notified that those who cannot prove that they are vaccinated by 5 p.m. will not be able to work Tuesday and will be suspended without pay as the state mandate for all healthcare workers to be vaccinated takes effect. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. JV football players report to the weight room after school Monday. The ESM Central High School semi-formal homecoming dance is Saturday, October 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. in the high school gym. The homecoming dance is only for Central High School students. No outside guests will be allowed. Masks must be worn at the dance following COVID protocol. Homecoming dance tickets will be available to purchase starting on Tuesday, September 8th, before and after school near the main entrance. Pre-sale tickets are $8 and tickets will not be sold or tickets will be sold at the door for $10. Some mandatory COVID protocols, proof of vaccination or a Binax test in school on Friday in the nurse's office is required to attend the dance. Students with questions should stop in B4 to see Mr. Mussolino or Mr. Anzalone. In other news, attention lifters, the morning weight room will be closed on Wednesday, September 29th. Once again, that is the only morning the weight room is closed on Wednesday, September 29th. See Coach Esbacher if you have any questions. The Spartan Marching Band performed another excellent show this past Saturday at Baldwinsville. The band performed very well, taking second place by only one point. If you didn't get the chance to watch last Saturday's show, you should consider going to Oswego High School this Saturday. Go Spartans! The Math League will be having an informational meeting on Tuesday, September 28th after school in room G7. If you are thinking of joining the team, please come to this meeting. It will not take up the entire after school time, so you can still go to other teachers. Any questions, please see Mrs. Pelkey in room G7 or Mrs. Terry. Hope to see you there. Interested in hiking and camping and learning about everyone? Learning about awesome outdoor activities? The Outdoor Adventure Club at ESM is definitely for you. Oak Trip consists of day hike, overnight camping, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and many other exciting activities. Come to our first meeting September 30th at 325 in room D17. See Mr. Harrington with any questions. The classroom code is F6W7UM7. PRISM is the East Syracuse Club for LGBTQ. Students and allies PRISM first meeting at, on October 6th and all are welcome. Please see Mr. Russo for details. Come out to Trappers today and support the seniors. The senior class will earn a percent at each sale when you mention the fundraiser. See you there. Okay, so it's Music Monday. You pumping up the jam? Yeah, right now? you know, just pumping the music, playing. So we have some fun facts about music. The music industry gets 88% of its total revenue coming from streaming down. Streaming, downloading, and subscriptions, which I think is crazy. More than one trillion songs are streamed annually. In a surprising fact, a study was done on 12,655 pop musicians who passed away between 1950 and 2014, and it was found that they tend to die at younger ages than the average American. 
Let's head on over to weather and then after we'll share some more fun facts. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 76 and a low of 56 degrees. Today will be breezy and have showers that will continue into the afternoon. Tonight, you can start to see that fall weather is taking place, with tonight's being much colder than the mornings. Tonight, we will have showers that will, sorry. Uh, tonight, we will have showers that will lead on from afternoon to much later in the day. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 68 and a low of 48 degrees, and Tuesday, we'll have a few showers in the morning, but we'll stop shortly after some sun and have some sun and clouds for the rest of the day. Wednesday, we'll have a high of 65 and a low of 47 degrees, and Wednesday will be breezy with sun and clouds. Thursday and Friday, we'll have highs in the 60s and lows in the high 40s, and Thursday, th Thursday and Friday will both be sunny with lots of clouds. Saturday and Sunday, we'll have highs in the high 60s with some sun and clouds with rain in the afternoon. And with that, I'm Grayson with your Monday morning weather. You can do this one. Yeah, yeah you read no, this. No, that's me, but yeah. On the Billboard's Top 100 chart, some popular songs include Stay by Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber, Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran, Fancy Like by Walker Hayes, and my favorite, Industry Baby by Lil Nas X and Jack Harlow. All right, so here's some popular songs of the latest decade, including Happy by Pharrell Williams, Rolling in the Deep by Adele, Move Like a Jagger by Maroon 5, and Get Lucky, Draft Punk by Pharrell Williams. Let's head on over to sports. Two NFL records were either broken or tied this week as Jacksonville Jaguars kick returner Jamal Agnew tied the record for the longest touchdown after returning a missed field goal for 109 yards. Legendary Baltimore Ravens kicker Justin Tucker broke the record for the longest field goal after he nailed a 66-yard kick to beat the Detroit Lions. Five teams remain undefeated and they are the Denver Broncos, Los Angeles Rams, Las Vegas Raiders, Arizona Cardinals, and the Carolina Panthers. The AL wildcard race is coming down to the wire as we head into the last week of the season as the New York Yankees swept the Red Boston Red Sox this weekend. The Yankees are now one game up in the first wildcard spot after this weekend. The Toronto Blue Jays are one game back of the Boston Red Sox for the second wildcard spot. The Orange beat the Liberty Flames on a last second field goal by Andre Schmidt. Sean Tucker led the team with rushing yards and receiving yards and had a total of 196, 196 yards on the night and one touchdown. And now on to ESM Sports with John, or Jersey Boy, sorry. All right, first of all, I just want to say happy Jersey Day to all my seniors out there. You know, really dress up and what, what's up? It's, it's, you know, it's like Jersey as in like a sports jersey, not like, like that. I was just informed it is not Jersey Day as in Jersey Shore, it's Jersey Day as in sports jerseys, and now I feel dumb. Um, Anyways, the varsity football team took a tough loss on Friday, 11 to 27, against West Genesee. Despite the loss, Jackson Palum had some had a great game on both sides of the ball, scoring the only touchdown on offense and having two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery, an interception, and led the team along with Kelvin jo Jones in tackles with nine each. The girls' soccer team beat Baldwinsville 6-0. Leah Rem had led the team with three goals. Alina K, sorry, Jazel Jazel McEnham, and Angelina Polcaro all had one goal. Laura Sitnik, Catherine Cox, and Giselle McElham, Paige Butterfield, and Natalie Peterson all had assists. The boys' soccer team beat their rival Jamesville DeWitt two to one. Todd Durantini and Zach Schufelt both led the team with one goal. Dominic Caruana had an assist. And in upcoming games, both golf teams play at Fulton at 3:30. Tennis plays at Central Square at 4:30, and field hockey plays at home against FM at 6:15. And I'm John with your sports. All right, ESM, that's all we have for you today. I hope everyone has a great Monday, and from us and everyone here at the Morning Show, have a great day. Make sure to wish this dude a happy birthday. Oh, yeah. yeah.